Welcome to Infinite Innovation Tech. Apple has released a new Vision Pro device, which costs $3,499. It's a computer you wear on your face, part of spatial computing, which involves running apps around you, essentially augmenting reality. Apple wants you to use it everywhere, at work, doing laundry, playing with kids, and more. Other headset computers are already available, like the Oculus Quest 3, which is a good VR headset with lots of games and costs $500. Apple has been focused on augmented reality, AR, instead of virtual reality, VR, believing AR is more valuable. They've been working on AR for a while, with AR tools in iOS and lighter depth scanners in some iPhones and iPads. So let's start with the foundational hardware details. What exactly is the Apple Vision Pro? At its core, it is a virtual reality, VR headset, although Apple refrains from using that term, preferring spatial computing. Despite the familiar form factor with displays, lenses, speakers, fans, and buttons, this device distinguishes itself in several ways. Notably, it boasts a robust construction with a metal and glass composition, featuring a precisely machined aluminum frame and strategically placed fans. The right side accommodates a digital crown, akin to an Apple Watch, and a single giant button on the opposite side. As we move further back, speakers are incorporated into pods with downward-facing grills, delivering impressive audio but allowing some sound leakage. The front is dominated by a substantial piece of glass housing, an outward-facing old display, and an array of sensors, including infrared illuminators, LiDAR scanners, and RGB cameras, all driven by M2 and R1 chips. Internally, the headset employs additional sensors to track the user's eyes for eye control and external display. The amalgamation of these elements results in a well-crafted, high-end, albeit slightly weighty, computer for facial wear. Weighing 638 grams with the solo knit band introduces a different weight distribution paradigm than other VR headsets. The decision to detach the battery from the headset, rendering it front-weighted, provides benefits such as the ability to lean against surfaces comfortably. However, it introduces the challenge of managing the cable continuously. The battery, a 3,366 milliamp hour unit, may seem modest, but it aligns with the typical battery life of VR headsets, offering two to four hours of usage. The option to connect the battery to a power source through a USB-C port is available to extend usage. The absence of physical controls is notable, the primary input methods involve eye and hand tracking. During the initial use, a calibration process adjusts the headset to the user's eyes and captures a hand scan for interaction purposes. The Vision Pro operates on Apple's new Vision OS, resembling the iPad OS, but with a heightened emphasis on glassy aesthetic and three-dimensional spatial features. The digital crown facilitates easy access to the app drawer and the selection process involves looking at icons and pinching fingers together. Despite the intuitive interaction, users must adapt to the limitation of only controlling what they are directly looking at. The spatial positioning lock is a standout feature, creating a sense of stability as virtual elements seamlessly integrate into the real-world environment. Navigating Vision OS feels like manipulating frosted glass windows suspended in space, with the ability to resize and relocate them effortlessly through intuitive gestures. The Apple Vision Pro offers a compelling blend of innovative hardware, spatial computing, and a sleek user interface, making it a noteworthy addition to the VR landscape. So that covers the basics of Vision OS and using the app. Throughout the default mode, pass-through is almost always enabled. You can wear the headset and see your surroundings through the cameras. Apple aims to normalize spatial computing, providing an augmented reality-like experience. However, it's not technically AR, as you view a reconstructed version through camera feeds. The pass-through is exceptional, offering a near real-time experience with impressive features like catching flying items or playing ping-pong. The R1 chip handles all processing, adjusting shutter speed for various lighting conditions and maintaining pass-through latency under 12 milliseconds. Close-up items may appear slightly blurry, and reading excellent text is a challenge, 
but overall, the pass-through is unparalleled among VR headsets. For total immersion, rotating the digital crown clockwise gradually immerses you in the environment, providing scenic locations like Mount Hood. The control center is accessed by looking up and selecting an arrow, and text input is achieved through poking virtual keys, selecting keys with pinching, or using voice commands. Now, what can the Vision Pro do? There are two types of apps, those explicitly built for Vision Pro and those compatible with iPhone and iPad apps. The former offers unique experiences like Apple Music, Notes, and media apps. However, some significant apps like Netflix, YouTube, and Spotify are unavailable due to developer decisions. The standout feature is connecting to a Mac, transforming its display into a 4K window inside the headset. This feature, especially on a plane, is considered a game changer. However, one virtual monitor at a time on the Mac is limited. The eyes on the outside are a defining characteristic, featuring personas, a digital representation of your face created through a scanning process. Personas can be used in apps like FaceTime, offering an impressive and slightly unsettling experience with avatars closely resembling real faces. Now, Apple is proud of the displays in the Vision Pro. Let's break it down, and rightly so, because they're a big step forward in display technology. These displays are tiny micro-olds, each with 23 million pixels, about a red blood cell size. They look fantastic. Sharp enough for reading text and bright enough for movies. Apple calibrates them for accurate and vibrant colors. These displays are a significant reason why the Vision Pro is expensive. They're crucial for the device's overall experience. However, despite their technical excellence, there are trade-offs when used in a device like this. The ultimate goal for Apple is augmented reality, where digital information is layered over what you see. However, the current technology must be more advanced for optical AR displays. The Vision Pro uses real-time video pass-through, meaning it's more of a VR headset pretending to be AR. While the pass-through is impressive, there are limitations due to the nature of the cameras and displays. Cameras and displays have inherent limitations, such as motion blur, especially in low light. The Vision Pro struggles with motion blur and reduced sharpness in low light. It also has challenges with color reproduction, showing only 49% of the colors the human eye can see. The displays have other limitations, like a not-so-huge field of view, and some distortion at the edges. Despite Apple's efforts to minimize these effects, they are still noticeable. The Vision Pro has the best video pass-through and sharp VR displays, but it constantly reminds you that you're looking at screens and reality is more interesting. Despite being the best in its class, it still needs to catch up to the richness of the real world. Apple takes great pride in the Vision Pro's advanced eye and hand-tracking control system surpassing other consumer hand and eye tracking systems by light years. The interface operates seamlessly as your eyes serve as the mouse and your fingers act as buttons, allowing you to navigate effortlessly. Initially, using the hand and eye tracking features feels like a superpower, but over time, it becomes less impressive and even hinders the overall experience. Unlike traditional computers, the requirement to look at what you want to control becomes distracting, where the input mechanism is independent of your focus. The Vision Pro's operating system, Vision OS, is tailored for precise eye tracking, but it needs to improve in certain aspects. Controls are sometimes too small and closely spaced, making navigation challenging. The on-screen keyboard, activated by staring at letters and pinching fingers, is impractical beyond entering a Wi-Fi password. Additionally, the system's dependence on cameras to track hands poses limitations, as it may only sometimes detect hand movements in certain positions or environments. Despite its innovative features, the Vision Pro lacks the direct control that traditional input devices offer. While it may feel magical sometimes, the occasional misinterpretation of gestures and the constant need to be aware of your hands and gaze can be frustrating. The 3D Persona system, although impressive, has room for improvement, often being more distracting than helpful during video calls. 
Apple takes immense pride in Vision Pro's advanced eye and hand tracking, which surpasses other consumer systems. Your eyes and fingers act as a mouse and buttons, facilitating seamless navigation. Initially awe-inspiring, the hand and eye tracking lose appeal over time, distracting from the overall experience. Vision OS, tailored for precise eye tracking, must catch up in some aspects with small controls hindering navigation. The reliance on cameras for hand tracking poses limitations and the 3D Persona system, though impressive, can be distracting. Spatial cameras offer subpar photo and video quality. Despite its immersive movie experience, the Vision Pro's isolating nature and limitations raise concerns about its practicality as a primary computing device. It may serve as a stepping stone or developer kit for future AR glasses. Well, that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.